Hello and welcome to our live Stations of the Cross for 2021. This is presented by Our Lady of Guadalupe's Youth Group in Taos, New Mexico. We will be praying these stations for, for the church, especially for the Archdiocese of Santa Fe, along with our parishes within it, for all those who have passed away from COVID-19, for an end to the COVID-19 pandemic, for the youth group, our members and their families, for return of the faithful to the church. These stations and reflections are taken from the New Testament of the Bible and from the Dolores, Dolores Passions of our Lord Jesus Christ by Anne Catherine Emmerich. Let us begin. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Garden of Gethsemane. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My soul is deeply grieved to the point of death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you could not keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Withdrawing a second time, he prayed again. My father, if it is not possible that this cup pass without my drinking it, your will be done. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they could not keep their eyes open. He left them and withdrew again and prayed a third time. Then he returned to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? Behold, the hour is at hand when the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Get up, let us go. Look, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a large crowd with swords and clubs who had come from the chief priests and the elders of the people. His betrayer had arranged a sign with them saying, The man I shall kiss is the one, arrest him. When they arrived, Jesus knowing everything that was going to happen to him, went out and said to them, Whom are you looking for? They answered him, Jesus, the Nazarene. He said to them, I am. Judas, his betrayer, was also with them. So he again asked them, Whom are you looking for? They said, Jesus, the Nazarene. Jesus answered, I told you that I am. So if you are looking for me, let these men go. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it, struck the high priest slave and cut off his right ear. The slave's name was Malchus. Jesus said to Peter, Put your sword into its scabbard. Shall I not drink the cup that my father gave me? So the band of soldiers, the tribune, and the Jesus guard seized Jesus, bound him, and led him away. Mary, my mother, you are the first to live the way of the cross. You felt every pain and every humiliation. You were unafraid of the ridicule heap, heaped upon you by the crowds. Your eyes were ever on Jesus and his pain. Is that the secret of your miraculous strength? How did your loving heart bear such a burden and such a weight? As you watched him stumble and fall, were you tortured by the memory of all the yesterdays, his birth, his hidden life, and his ministry? 
You were so desirous of everyone loving him. What a heartache it was to see so many hate him, hate with a diabolical fury. Take my hand as I make this way of the cross. Inspire me with those thoughts that will make me realize how much he loves me. Give me light to apply each station to my daily life and to remember my neighbor's needs in this way of pain. Obtain for me the grace to understand the mystery, the wisdom, and the divine love as I go from scene to scene. Grant that my heart, like yours, may be pierced through by the sight of his sorrow and the misery, and that I may determine never to offend him again. May a price he paid to cover my sins, to open the gates of heaven for me, and to fill my soul with his own spirit. Sweet mother, let us travel this way together, and grant that the love in my poor heart may give you some slight consolation. Amen. The first station, Pilate condemns Jesus to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Our Lord was clothed in his purple garment with the crown of thorns upon his head. Pilate says to the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then Pilate handed him over to them to be crucified. And so they took Jesus and led him away, bearing the cross for himself. Pilate then washed his hands, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just man. My adorable Jesus, it was not Pilate who condemned you to die on the cross. No, it was for our sins that you had to die. We beseech you by the merits of this sorrowful journey to assist all souls on their journey to eternity. We pray in a special way for our youth group, the youth of our community, and for the families that together we work at gaining eternal life. We also pray for those who feel that they are alone in this world and unjustly condemned, especially those who are imprisoned and for the homebound, and for a quick recovery from the coronavirus in the world, in our communities, and for protection and healing for those in our families. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, the mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. At the cross her station keeping Stood the mournful mother weeping Close to Jesus to the last The second station, Jesus accepts his cross we adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Yet it was for our infirmities that he bore, our sufferings that he endured. The Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all. Though he was harshly treated, he submitted and opened not his mouth. Jesus knelt by the cross's side encircled it with his sacred arms, and kissed it three times, addressing at the same time a most touching prayer of thanksgiving to his heavenly Father for the work of redemption, which he had begun. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross for himself, he went out to the place of the school in Hebrew Golgotha.
My most beloved Jesus, help us to embrace all the sufferings that you have destined for us until our death. We ask you, by all that you have suffered in carrying your cross, to help us carry ours and to en and endure the trials and sufferings that may come with doing so. We pray for those joining us and their families that you grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, courage to change the things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. We also pray for the priests within our communities, that they may be given strength and health as they answer the call of the needy and sick. We pray in a special way for our Pope, our bishops, our Archbishop Wester, pastors Father Daniel, Father Angelo, and Father Michael, and deacons Jerry, Don, Larry, and Romolo. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. <laughs> because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. There was a large stone in the center of the road. When Jesus reached the spot, his strength was perfectly exhausted. He was unable to move, and as the soldiers dragged and pushed him, Without showing any compassion, he fell hard against this stone. The cross falling by his side, the cruel executioners were obliged to stop, but they continued to abuse and strike him unmercifully. My beloved Jesus, it was not the cruelty of the soldiers or the weight of the cross that made you fall. It was the weight of our sins. For this, we are sorry, and we ask that you help us to stay out of mortal sin and stay away from temptations that may lead to the, soul, to the loss of our souls. We pray for all those, especially our youth, who have a hard time turning away from temptation. Protect us, Lord, that we may fight the lies of addiction. We pray for those who are dealing with anxiety, depression, and suicidal thoughts during this time of isolation and social distancing. We pray in a special way for those who we know who are suffering from anxiety. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one the fourth station jesus meets his afflicted mother we adore you O christ and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world The mother of God was pale. Her eyes were red, red with weeping. The clamor and insulting speeches of the enraged multitude 
might be plenty heard within the place where she stood awaiting her son's passing. As the soldiers drew near, she could not control her feelings, but joined her hands as if to implore the help of heaven. Then came the, her beloved son. He was almost sinking under the heavy weight of the cross, and his head, still crowned with thorns, was drooping in agony on his shoulders. He cast a look of compassion and sorrow upon his mother. Mary was perfectly agonized at this sight. She forgot all else, and she sprang from the doorway and threw herself on her knees at his side. My beloved Jesus, by the pain you suffered in this meeting, grant us the grace of being truly devoted to your most holy mother. And you, our queen, who was overwhelmed with sorrow, obtained for us by your prayers and a tender and a lasting remembrance of the passion of your divine son. We pray for all those who have lost a child, that by the merits of the station, they may be comforted by our blessed mother. We pray for those who have lost a loved one during this epidemic that God may give them comfort and peace. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The fifth station, Simon helps carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus stumbled against a large stone, and as the cross slipped from his shoulders, he fell upon the stone and was unable to rise. The soldiers took and forced a certain passerby Simon of Cyrene, coming in from the country to take up Jesus' cross and assist him. Simon at first resisted, but gave in when a soldier reached for his sword. My beloved Jesus, we will not refuse the cross as Simon did. We accept and embrace it. Help us to assist those who are having difficulties carrying their crosses they have been bestowed. Let us not be judgmental or mocking towards those like, unlike ourselves. We pray in a special way for all those who have been persecuted for what they lack materially, physically, or mentally. May we be accepting of others and help them gain eternal life. We pray for those who are acting as Simon during this time in our world. We pray for doctors, nurses, medical officers, police officers, firefighters, emergency personnel, caretakers, priests, religious orders, sisters, and nuns. May they help to lift the weight of those suffering because of this illness. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in misery so deep? Christ, dear mother, to behold. The sixth station, Veronica offers her veil to Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Veronica stood on the side of the road where Jesus was walking on. Those who were marching at the head of the procession tried to push her back, but she made her way through. The mob and the soldiers reached Jesus, fell on her knees before him, and presented her veil, saying at the same time, Permit me to wipe the face of my Lord. Jesus took the veil in his left hand, wiped his bleeding face, and returned it with thanks. Veronica kissed it, and then the soldiers pushed her aside. My beloved Jesus, your face was beautiful before you began this journey, but now it no longer appears beautiful. It is disfigured with wounds and blood. Alas, our souls were once beautiful when it received your grace in baptism, but we have since then disfigured it with our sins. You alone, our Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by the merits of your passion and help us to return to you when we fall. We pray that we not lose our empathy in these stressful days. We pray for those who are ministering to the needs of others. We also pray for those individuals who are angry or feel out of control due to this illness. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain? In that mother's pain untold, The seventh station, Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The way uphill became even more difficult. Jesus was weak. He felt the weight, the pain, the solitude, and the humiliation. He began to take another step when in an instant he found himself again falling with the cross for the second time. He tried to get up immediately so that he would not be whipped, but he was having a hard time. Simon tried to keep the soldiers from striking him by pushing some of the soldiers away. The last part of the climb was difficult, but he knew he could make it. And so taking a deep breath, he moved on. My most gentle Jesus, how many times you have forgiven us and how many times have we fallen and began again to offend you? By the merits of the second fall, give us the grace to persevere in your love until death. Grant that in all our temptations, we will always have recourse to you. We pray for our brothers and sisters who have a hard time seeking your forgiveness. Help them to truly understand the sacrament of confession and help us to seek its forgiving means whenever needed. We pray for our brothers and sisters who are in need of confession. We pray for our pastors who are healing through the sacrament of penance. We pray that they are protected and that those who are in danger of death repent, repent prior to their passing. Amen. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Bruised, derided, crushed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. The Earth Station, Jesus speaks to the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There was following Jesus a great crowd of people, and among them were some women who were bewailing. <laughs> And lamenting him, Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. My Jesus, laden with sorrows, we weep for the sins which we have committed against you because of the punishment we deserve for them, and still more because of the displeasure they have caused you who have loved us with an infinite love. It is your love more than the fear of hell, which makes us weep for our sins. We pray for all the souls in purgatory and all the souls on earth in danger of going to hell. We pray for those who are mourning during this time, especially from our community, families, and friends. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. For the sinners of his own nation, saw him hang in desolation. Till his spirit forth he went. The ninth station. Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. At last, they reached a spot where, there, where the pathway turned suddenly to the south. Here, he stumbled and fell for the third time. The fall was a dreadful one, but the guards only struck him harder and forced him to get up. No sooner did he reach Cal Calvary than he sank down again under his cross. My outraged Jesus, by the weakness by the weakness you suffered in going to Calvary, give us enough strength to overcome all human respect and all our evil passions, which have led us to despise your friendship. Help us to turn to you when we feel like we cannot accomplish a difficult task. We pray for those joining in, this, in these prayers, that they may be assisted constantly in their trials and may they always be shown and treated with great respect. 
We pray especially for those who are discouraged, those who are losing hope that they may be renewed. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O thou mother, fount of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with thine accord. The Tenth Station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The executioners removed the cross from the Lord and then pulled off his cloak thus reopening the wounds that had dried onto it. The guards allowed Jesus to stand there as the crowd laughed and mocked him. The crowd called out to him to save himself, to prove some miracle so that they may believe. But none of them knew what a miracle Jesus would perform. My innocent Jesus, by the torment you suffered in being stripped of your garments, help us to strip ourselves of all attachment for things of earth so that we may place all our love in you, who are so worthy of all our love. We pray in a special way for the Archdiocese of Santa Fe, especially the parishes of Our Lady of Guadalupe, St. Francis of Assisi, and Holy Trinity Parish. We pray for our parishes that God in, goodness, in his goodness will bless those are in great who are in great need and protect our pastors parish staffs and all others who depend on the church for financial help amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Make me feel as thou hast felt. Make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ, my Lord. The Eleventh Station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The soldiers stretched out Jesus' arms, tying them onto the cross. Then they nailed each hand. and then his feet. They then stood up the cross. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they threw dice for his clothes. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother, his mother's sister, 
and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And to the disciple he said, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took his mother into his house. My despised Jesus, now my heart to the cross that it may always remain there to love you and never leave you again. Help us to always entrust every move of our day to you, our Lord and Father. We pray for all those who have lost a family member due, due to the coronavirus, those fighting to find a cure and for those who are seriously ill at this time. We pray for our community's strength and health. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us. Excuse me. This is this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Holy Mother, pierce me through, in my heart each wound renew, of my Savior crucified. The twelfth station, Jesus dies upon the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land, until three in the afternoon. Then the veil of the temple was torn down in the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice. Father, into your hands, I commend my spirit. And when he said this, he breathed his last, bowed his head, and died. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side and immediately blood and water flowed out. My dying Jesus, we devoutly kiss the cross on which you would die for love of us. We deserve, because of our sins, to die a terrible death, but your death is our hope. By the merits of your death, give us the grace to die embracing your feet and burning with love for you. We yield our souls into your hands, Lord. We pray for all those who are near death. May they have recourse to you and may they enter the kingdom of heaven. We pray in a special way that all those in great danger of dying due to this virus may be able to have their confessions heard and receive the necessary sacraments to accomplish heaven. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let me share with thee his pain, who for all our sins were slain. Who for me in torments died. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Then Joseph and Nicodemus having placed ladders against the cross, untied the upper strap and fastened it to one of the hooks on the ladder. They did the same to the other two straps and passing them from hook to hook caused the sacred body to descend gently. When the body was taken down, it was placed in the arms of the Blessed Virgin. The adorable head of Jesus rested upon Mary's knee and his body was stretched upon a sheet. Once more, and for the last time, did she hold in her arms the body of her most beloved son, to whom she had been unable to give any testimony of love during those long hours of his martyrdom. She gazed upon his wounds and fondly embraced his blood-stained face. O oh, Mother of Sorrows, for the love of your Son, accept us as your servants and pray to him for us. And you, my Redeemer, since you have died for us, allow us to love you, for we desire only you and nothing more. We pray for our families and loved ones, both living and deceased, that we may stay always under the mantle of your Mother and in your love. We also pray in a special way for the protection of our families and those who are most vulnerable in our communities. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blesses the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let me mingle tears with thee. Mourning him who mourned for me all the days that I may live. The 14th station. Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea, secretly a disciple of Jesus, for fear for the Jews, asked Pilate if he could remove the body of Jesus, and Pilate permitted it. So he came and took his body. They took the body of Jesus and bound it with burial cloths, along with the spices and incense, according to the Jewish burial custom. His holy mother went with them and arranged it in the tomb with her own hands. Covering her son with a white sheet, they then closed the tomb and all departed. Oh, my buried Jesus, we kiss the stone that closes you in, but you gloriously did rise again on the third day. We beg you by your resurrection that we may be raised gloriously on the last day to be united with you in heaven, to praise you and love you forever. 
We pray for all those awaiting burial during the ep this epidemic. We also pray for the pastors and families who will have the task of burying their dead at the end of this all. We especially pray for the recently for the recently deceased in our communities. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. By the cross with the just with there with thee to weep and pray is all I ask of thee to give. Let us pray. We ask for a brief pause of silence so that you may add your own intentions. Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you were drawn by the Father from the darkness of death to the light of a new life and glory. Grant that the sign of the empty tomb may speak to us and to future generations and become a wellspring of living faith, generous love, and unshakable hope to you, O oh Jesus, whose presence, hidden and victorious, fills the history of the world, the honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Sabbat Mater Dolorosa, Juxta Crucem Lacrimosa, Dum Pendebat Filius, Uius animam gementem, contristatam et dolentem, per trasivit Claudius, o quam tristis et afflicta, uit ila benedicta. Mater unigeniti, que more bate toleva, ia mater tuum videba, nati ponas incliti, cuis est homo qui non flere, Matrem Christi si videre, in tanto supplicio, cuis non posset contristari, Christi matrem contemplari, dolentem cum filio. Pro peccati sue gentis, vidit Iesum in tormentis, et flegali subditum, vidit suum dulcem, natum mori endor desolatum. Dumem sit spiritu. Ia mater fons amori. Me sentire vim dolori. Facut tecum legeam. Facut ardeat cor meu. 
in amando Christum Deum, ut sibi complejam, sancta mater istudagas, crucifixi fige plagas, cordi meio valide, tu inati vulnerati, am dignate pro me pati, buenas me cum divide, ac me te cum pie flere, crucifixo condelere, Done ergo fixero, iuxta crucem tecum stare, et metive sociare, in plancto desidero, virgo virginum preclara. Mi i i am non si samara, ac me te cum plangere, ac ut portem Christi mortem, passionis fac consortem, et plagas recolare, Ac me plagis vulnerari, ac me cruce enibriari, et cruore fili, la mis ne urar susensus, per te virgo sin defensus. In Dea iudici, Christe cum sit in cexire, da per matrum me vinere, ad plaham victoriae. Quando corpus morietur, Ac me ut anime donetur, arra disi gloria. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for these stations. Please continue to pray not only for our members and for their families, but for our community and our state and for our world. Thank you and God bless.